All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can probably tell, I am at AK Racing and I'm picking up my car. So finally time to pick it up with the new turbo injectors, tune. Um, I'll go over a bit more of what's, um, what's been done because um, the tune's like kind of not 100% finished. Um, probably gonna need to add a fuel pressure regulator. And once the dyno is set up here at this new AK location, we're gonna chuck it back on and sort all that out. But for now, it is done. So yeah, the car is is ready to be picked up. Um, I'm about to head off and go get a wheel alignment because I actually decided to pick it up early. I was meant to pick this up on Monday and I'm gonna get the wheel alignment done first, but wanted it for the weekend. So I'm gonna head off now and get that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, intake is on. The new turbo is on and the new wastegate and everything. Um, and also the new injectors, which look a lot nicer because I wanted to get them kind of tucked a bit so they've worked some magic and got these, you know, these to stick up like here, my old injectors, basically level with the valve cover. Now these ones, all you have is a little bit of wire, which, you know, could probably even hide a little bit further with some zip ties, but looks amazing. Really, engine bay is looking great now. I do have a few more pieces to add, but yeah, for now, I'm absolutely stoked with this. I cannot wait to take it for a drive. Um, I've just arrived, so it's here waiting for me. And yeah, I haven't even started it up yet. I'm super keen to even just head down the driveway and, um, and see how it, how it sounds. But yeah, so I'll um, throw up a picture of the, the dyno graph. Um, it made some pretty decent power, but like I said, um, Alan here at AK has said he had to take a lot of uh, timing out of the top end um, just to, yeah, sort of, he needs to go over the fuel pressure regulator, sort of fueling out a little bit better. So um, yeah, it'll get re, just touched up, I guess, on the dyno, um, but yeah, it's made, I think it's got 301 kilowatts and 311 kilowatts on there. I think maybe that the 311 is before he sort of turned it back down a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna just say 301 kilowatts um, and it'll make a bunch more torque as well, uh, a little bit more power as well, but he's sort of turned everything down just to keep it safe for now until he can really tune it in, dial it in on the dyno, like I said. Um, but so it's already making eight kilowatts more than what it did. So I'm absolutely stoked. Um, cannot wait to get this out on the road. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll put the dyno sheet up for you guys to have a look at, but there is more to come. Um, it'll make a little bit more soon and a little bit more dialed in. And yeah, you can see I've, I've rocked up on a weekend to AK. They've got Evos everywhere, absolute Evo heaven in here. Definitely gonna do a video here um, soon, showing you guys all around what they've got uh, once they're finished moving in. But as you can see, a bunch of hoists, a bunch of cars, a bunch of cars being stored, ready to work on. So yeah, with that said, what I'm gonna do for this video is I just wanted to, yeah, pick it up, show you guys the car, explain I've got it back, and I wanna chuck the microphone in the engine bay and I wanna get a little bit of a sound clip. I'm not gonna do my first drive because like I said, um, it's cold, it's peak hour traffic when I leave here. So it'll be a while till I can, you know, get on the road to get the car warmed up and do a couple of pulls. So I just wanna do a little bit of a sound clip, show you guys how it sounds, talk about my first thoughts as I start to drive it. And then I'm gonna go get this wheel alignment and head home. So I'll save the first drive video for next time. Um, but yeah, so I definitely had to make a video on picking the car up because I'm absolutely stoked. So yeah, with that said, let's jump in the car. Let's, uh, let's head off and let's see how this thing sounds. All right guys, so we are in the car. Let's do the first startup and um, see how it sounds and how it drives. So I've got the microphone as well as on me, uh, another one in the engine bay. So um, hopefully it picks up the sounds. Let's make sure we have enough fuel. Yep. So I haven't got my dash obviously sorted. So yeah, let's do this, I can't wait. So leaving AK now to go get the wheel alignment and then the other car other than the tune getting sorted in the future, it's gonna be done. So it's gonna to have to open this gate up to get out. All right, guys. Turn yeah. right on Ferrick Street. Oh, turn that down. So, car's still cold, obviously, but <laughs> that whistle, it whistles so loud. That's just, not even touching any boost really, it's crazy. Oh, I cannot wait. That's already, all I've done is just pull onto the, 
I'm almost getting what I'm trying to put on here. Pulling onto just like the road that exits AK Racing. And I can already hear that insane whistle sound. Is that whistle? Um, I probably don't even need the microphone. Wow, that sounds <laughs> crazy. Oh, I think I missed the turn that Keith was telling me to take uh, to get to the wheel alignment. So I'll turn around. Um, but yeah, that sounds so good. I cannot believe how good that sounds. That's just like cruising. You just hear the turbo like nothing else. So yeah, probably the microphone in the engine bay would be like too much. Um, and I have both running at the moment, so hopefully you can still hear me talk while the engine's rattling away there while I'm stopped. But yeah, so I'll just do one more couple of, um, yeah, a couple of goes through the gears, not hitting boost or anything because the car is completely cold. Um, and yeah, I think I'll end it there because we really need to try and get to this uh, wheel alignment and focus on where I'm going. That thing sounds like a jet taking off. It's just whistling the whole time. I believe that's what it sounds like now. This, that's that's my car from now on. That sound. <laughs> that is nuts. So I'm not even doing any pulls. I'm like, let me. I'll watch the boost gauge and tell you what sort of boost I'm hitting. That's hitting four to five pounds of boost. That's the sound it makes. That is crazy. All right, I am happy. And that's just the sound. Like, I haven't even done a, a pull yet. I haven't taken a racing. haven't done anything, you know, a launch to really feel the benefits. All I'm just experiencing is just the slight sound. Um, so I'll quickly say what I got done in case you didn't watch the last video. So it's got, um, already had like full bolt-ons and everything, it's on E85. So what I changed was the turbo, I went from a GTP 712, and I've now got the Intense 56-56 RS turbo. Um, I went from Bosch 1000cc injectors to FIC 1200cc, and yeah, it's now running, I don't know what the power, I'd love to chat with Alan, but the dyno sheet he sent me has the two figures, so it has the uh, 311 kilowatts it was, I believe, and the 301. So I feel like, because he, he said he had to sort of turn it down a little bit, um, and yeah, he wants to have another sort of um, dial it in a little bit more uh, once I have a fuel pressure regulator. He says the fueling's not looking, you know, perfect. So um, yeah, whatever he said. It was late last night. I was just more excited. He said I can pick the car up. So um, but yeah, so it needs to get dialed in a little bit more. So the torque's a little bit low at the moment. And the power, I think, could be back up to that 310-ish range. Um, but for now, it's already even at the 301. That's um, nine kilowatts extra. It's making a little bit less torque than it did, but like I said, it's kind of been turned down a little bit. Um, so it's gonna feel a lot faster, I'm assuming. Um, but the sound so far is just amazing. So yeah, rather than me just rattling on too long, um, just wanted to do this video. This is a short one of collecting the car. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing, if you guys haven't seen my post, um, I'm trying to do two videos a week for December. So yeah, this will be probably the first one. I missed like the first Wednesday, but from now on every Sunday and Wednesday for the month, I'm gonna do a video. So you need to, yeah, try and not make this video too long and have like the first pulls and everything in it. I need to try and, um, yeah, just end this one short, have it as the pickup. We'll have um, some more videos coming. So I'll do my first reaction to the actual power and once the car's warm, I'll probably even film that today um, or tomorrow and yeah, just do a few pulls and see how it does. 
But so I'm going to end this one there. Um, I know it's not crazy exciting, but it is for me. Probably not the craziest exciting video to watch, but yeah, for me to get the car back, it's been down so long this year with first the gearbox, had some battery issues, had you know, new tyres I was waiting on, and a few things that just stopped me driving this car as much as I normally do over the last sort of four months. I'm just stoked to have it back now, and then with all these extras, it's yeah, um, so it's probably the most exciting video to watch, I know, but uh, it's, it's exciting for me. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think of the sound. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. But with all that said, until next time, I will catch you guys later.